Do you have a remote start in your Subaru and it's not working? Stay tuned to find out why. This is a Subaru 2019 Legacy. It's got the remote start. Now, there's two batteries, one in the key fob itself and one in the remote start. And it's a 2032 battery. We're going to change that today. So I'm going to just going to take it off the ring here so it's easier to get at here. Take it off the ring. And we'll change the battery. There's a small screw there. It's a Phillips Zero. So take a Phillips Zero here, small. Just remove the screw that holds the battery. I removed the screw completely. And then on the back of it, in, you can put a screwdriver indentation in there, just pry it apart here. It's in there good because it's sealed with a good. So by having that screw out, you have to work it around. It's coming out now. It's in there very tight. That piece comes out. It's almost out here. There it is. There's your battery. So remove the battery and it's face down. You need a 2032. See your 2032 and put it face down. Positive, face down here, snap it in. On the back side of this is two little notches here. You see the two little notches that'll fit into your remote start right here. Now your battery's inside here, face down, put it back together. Snapped in place now. Here, there, you hear it snap. It's back in place here now. Put the screw back in. The Phillips Zero. Your key fob's back in pack there. Now you can start your vehicle again. Put it back on the keychain. And you're finished. That's how you change the battery on your remote start on your Subaru. So please share my video and ring that bell to be notified the next time I upload a video. I'd like to thank all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Thanks so much for subscribing to my channel. Watch this for the first time today. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Have a great one, people.